Here I am, just going ahead and farming Gollum. Oh, I got myself another Aegis Blade. Really? Okay, fantastic. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Calamity playthrough, where today we're starting off by farming for a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, there's another Aegis Blade? We've got two of them from it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, right, well, that, that was uh, an eventful start, to say the very least. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Right, Moon Mask, Mandible Blade, ah, I don't need any of that crap. Right, anyway, so today, my friends, we will be going ahead and trying to take down Supreme Calamitous again. But there are a few things I want to do beforehand. Chief among which is going ahead and farming out Doggo, because we need to. We only have two Gosmolite bars left, and frankly speaking, it is not enough. Right, so then, good day to you, sir. I am going to give you this, and give you this. Wow, they sell for a platinum each. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Right, so, modded three. I'm going to put all of these in this one because these are all of the, like, superiorly late-game things that we actually kind of need. So, um, I mean, should we just, like, spam it? I mean, we've got two platinum coins. Let's go ahead and uh, quick stat them real quick. Now, remember, we require 20 platinum coins for one doggo summoner. So... One gives us 43 gold coins, which isn't bad. And obviously, you know, on top of that, we can sell a bunch of stuff. So, we're just going to go ahead and spam the absolute living hell out of this thing. And there we go. Not bad, not bad. I, although I can't actually see where the guy is now. Um, uh, 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 I didn't actually think about that, did I? Wait, can I oh, there he is. <laughs> I got there eventually, guys. Right, I'm literally just going to sell every single thing. We just don't need any of this stuff. I've even already got all of the dev sets, so there really is no need. As you can see, we are currently up to 25 platinum coins, which is a very, a very nice indeed, if you ask me. Okay, uh, so yeah, and then this is the last bits and bobs right here. Wow, we only got 28 platinum coins out of that. I thought we'd get a lot more. Okay, well, maybe there's another boss I could try and take down, which will, like, do a whole bunch of more damage. Anyways, I digress. We're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a Cosmic Worm, a Doggo Summoner, and we are going to do this, and we are going to do this, and we are going to go way over to the other side of the world, my friends, where we do stuff. Yes, we're going to do stuff, my friends. We're going to take down Doggo, and like I said, the end goal is to try and take down Calamitas, or Supreme Calamitas, should I say. So, one of the other things you guys were saying is we completely forgot about the sponge accessory. Uh, Phantoplasm. Uh, yeah, you're quite correct, actually. I have completely forgot about it, and I can make it. Although the Phantoplasm, I think, is going to be our downfall in terms of lacking of accessories at this point. So, let's go ahead. Let's get the Exoblade going. Uh... Where? Oh, there he is. Here he comes! He oh, he's got over a million health now? Since when was that a thing? He's got over a million health now, guys. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Right, anyways. Uh, and dash! There we go. And now he goes a bit nuts. And now we go up here. I want to try and bring him over this way, ideally. Right, here we go. Right, now is where we start doing damage. Come on, boys. So, 950,000 damage uh, health even. Can I, like, actually kill him? There we go. I need to keep him at a, like, perfectly perpendicular angle compared to our... Wait. Is he... What? Whoa! I froze him! I think I froze him, guys. Well, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? <laughs> Hello! Come on, then! The Exoblade will murder you, and quite rightly so, because you're just a pain in the ass, to be quite frank with you. Right, come on, then. Okay. Up we go. And now we do something like this. There we go. Oh, come on. Let's get this speed kill going. Come on. Don't get cocky, kid. Ha! <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. And then he dies immediately after. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right. Did I, like, drop anything? Uh, nope. Oh, there we go, my friends. Yeah, 37 Cosmolite bars. Right. Now, then, we need to check out our supply of Phantoplasm. I do now have 16 Platinum Coins. I can actually buy another Summoner if I so wished. But I would like to check out my uh, my phantoplasm supply. I actually have enough. Wow, okay. So what we need to do is we need to... Wait, we already have the sponge. I saw a comment saying that we forgot about the sponge, but I haven't. Wait, what? I, I, I'm confused now. I'm really confused because I swear to God someone left that in the last episode saying, Oh, hey, Python, you forgot about the sponge, you idiot. And now I'm just like, wait, what? I, I, I haven't forgot about it, though. 
I ever done anything, mate? I'm very confused right now. Well, that was completely pointless. Right, anyway, so we get ourselves a full. Oh, is it worth doing this? It probably might be. We need ourselves a few more bits of phantoplasm, and well, actually, that's just about it. Uh, fire gauntlet. Now then, that is a vanilla thing, isn't it? So if we just head up here, uh, do we have a titan glove? If we do, we can go ahead. Oh, there we go. There's a titan glove. Right, now then, remind me. Remind me, sirs. Please do. Uh, we need feral claws, which I am pretty convinced we do have. I mean, come on, it's feral claws. They they got on really early in the in the game, aren't they? Right. For fer fer feral claws? Do, do I not have feral claws for real? Oh my goodness me, I don't actually think we do. Right, in which case, let's make some. Because we can. Really? 15 bits of wood and that's it? Well, that seems a bit cheap. Alright, living loom. Let's have a look. How does one make a living loom? We require 15 wood at a sawmill. Wow, that's really cheap. Alright, well then, we're, we're going to do that and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so we need to go to a loom, which is over here, and then we are going to make this, and we are going to put it up here. I probably have already made it, but I have no idea. Anyway, so, feral claws, there we go. Right, I want to be able to make this stuff fairly quickly, so here we go. Power glove, right. Moving on, we need ourselves the mechanical glove, which requires an Avenger emblem, which requires uh, the three mech souls, amongst other things. So, yeah. Uh, where are they all? Oh, I think I put them away in a different chest, didn't I? Yeah, I think it's over in the modded chest, in fact. Right, so then, we also need a, just a random emblem. Yep, that'll do. Summoner emblem will do nicely. So if I head up here real quick, yep, there's the other souls, as I was suspecting they were. So there we go, there is the Avenger emblem, there is the mechanical glove, and now I do believe all I need is a magma stone, and then we're good, my friends. So, yeah, like I say, I just want to go ahead and make a little bit of an effort to try and upgrade myself to, to, some, to some pretty good things here and there. Right, and there's a fire gauntlet. So now, all I need to do is grab off Yarim's insignia. There it is. And then I need to grab out the materials here. Oh, I need more endothermic energy. Ah, oh, damn, man. Why does me think I, I had enough stuff? Well, that's just a bunch of poo, isn't it? I also need myself a little bit more in the phantoplasm. Phantoplasm. Yeah, that department. Right, I'm going to get some materials in which case, and I'll be back in a moment. Hey, and how about it, guys? The Elemental Gauntlet. There it is. Melee attacks inflict most debuffs. 20% increased melee speed, damage, and crit chance. Increased invincibility after taking damage. You are immune to lava. Increased melee knockback. Normal enemies will sometimes die instantly when critically hit with a melee weapon. That sounds pretty badass. I even got armored on it as well, which is pretty cool. Huh, I'll take it. Alright, so in terms of what we have that's already top tier, the sponge is top tier, elemental gauntlet is top tier, heart of the elements is top tier, the Elysian traces are top tier, Asgardian Aegis is top tier, Yarim's gift, uh, wait, what? Yarim's gift, uh, for, uh, oh, that's right, we got that from the other boss, didn't we? And um, we've got the worm scarf, uh, ranger emblem, uh, I don't know, man, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay with what we have here, so let's just remind ourselves, how does one make the dragon egg? Because we're going to need to farm this guy out, aren't we? We're going to need to take down Yaren twice. So we've got Cosmolite bars, bars of life, and then some other stuff, which all of which I should have uh, quite comfortably, in fact. Yep, there we go. And it's Cosmolite bars. And, well, actually, that should be it, shouldn't it? So, dragon egg? Yeah, there we go, my friends. Right, so uh, let's go ahead and get our buffs on. And we are heading over to the jungle to try and take down... The almighty, not so almighty, Yaren. <laughs> Let's get on with it, folks. So, we'll do the first fight on camera. And I know you guys have seen it, but, you know, we'll, we'll still do it anyway. Hello. Good day. I mean, we, we can pretty much just tank, tank him. Come on, then. Exoblade is OP as heck, buddies. All right, come on. Uh, Yaren, you need to die. You need to die. It's a simple fact of the matter, okay? Why don't you go ahead and just get killed and stuff. Okay. Oh, and, and he's dead. <laughs> hey, we got a Yellich from him as well. Oh, we got a Yaren trophy. That's interesting. Awesome. Hey, man, I mean, that was a really eventful fight, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right, so you guys were raving on about this thing called Yarim's, uh, Yarim's Crystal, I think it's called. But I did some research and apparently it's a 1 in 1,000 chance of dropping from the treasure bag. So if we do manage to get it, it would be absolute insanity. So, we've got Dragon... 
Okay. We have ourselves the profaned trident. Uh... Okay, it's just, it's almost like a, what's that one thing called? The Daybreak. It's like a buffed version of that. And we have another Burning Sky and a Dragon Raid with over 1,000 damage, my friends. Holy Jesus Lord. Right. Wow, that, that is a really, really quick freaking projectile, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Wow, that's insane. Right, let's take him down again and uh, just get stuff and stuff. Yeah. Battle! Boom! What do we get this time? Uh, more Yaren fragments, Yaren's gift, a chicken cannon, what the hell, flame barrage, whoa, okay, that seems pretty nuts, <laughs> right, okay, so, uh, let's remind ourselves, Yaren soul fragments, uh, wait, what, silver armor, yeah, obviously we're gonna need them for that, wait, do, have I only got seven? Thought I had more than that. Right, so Eye of Extinction. Let's just remind ourselves. Uh, yeah, pretty easy stuff. Okay, right. Well then, I think we're just about ready to try Supreme Calamitous again, guys. What do you think? I think it's time. Don't know about you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to prepare ourselves once again. Oh my god, the weapons chests are just getting way too full, aren't they? All right, let's start filling this one up uh, with... Just so much stuff. Yaram's gift, don't need it. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff, really. Right, uh, Paladin's Hammer. There is, an, like, a super upgrade for True Paladin's Hammer, which is this thing. The Triactus True Palladian Mage Hammer of Might. 9,200 melee damage, and it requires Shadow Spec Bars, which, of course, we do not have access to currently. So, I'm going to put the uh, Paladin Hammer in the Material Weapons Chest. Okay. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Right, in the meantime, uh, I mean, Drayden's Forge, is there, like, a way I can, like, just see what's made at Drayden's Forge? I have no idea. Hmm. Anyways, uh, should we have a look at what else we could do here? Uh, Vivid Clarity, a lot of you guys have been raving out about a bunch of these weapons here. Uh, obviously, you know, increasing our health would be quite nice to do, but sadly, I don't have the amount of life fruits we need, so... I mean, I think we're just going to go ahead and try the Eye of Extinction again. So, can I actually do that? We need Cosmolite Bars. We have 33 of them. Phantoplasm, Endothermic Energy. We need to grab the Dark Sun Fragments out. And, of course, the other stuffs as well. So, here we go. Let's grab them all out. And let's make ourselves... I think we'll be able to make four, right? Four? <gasps> five! Oh, my God! We have five chances to take down Supreme Calamitous, guys. Oh my goodness me. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm going to keep doing it until I freaking win, okay? That's that's the whole point of this thing. So, the Exoblade, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, do I even have the buff on it? <gasps> I didn't! Wow, okay, so this thing now does 703... Wait, no, 7,347 damage. Right, so, let's see how we do with the addition of the Elemental Gorn. I mean, I don't really know what to expect. So, uh, I feel like we should go ahead and uh, refresh our buffs as well. Because I think that would just be a good idea. Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. Boom. Alright. Exoblade. Here he is. Here he is. This guy is nuts. And he's already taking a bunch of damage. Right. He's going to start dashing around like a moron in a minute here. Are you going to start? I mean, you're already down a quarter health, boy. Jeez. Oh, my God. Come on, Calamitous. At least put some freaking effort into it, bro. Uh-oh. That was a bad idea. Huh? Okay. The brothers are probably going to awaken fairly soon here. And uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of this going. I would love to be able to not run out of world. Right, okay. I've swapped sides. Th oh, Jesus. I'm dead. I'm going to die, huh? All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was down to 1.1 million health. Honestly, oh, that's a lot of platinum to drop. I have to get that back. I can't let anyone take that. That's a lot of money. Holy Lord. Right, I mean, we're just going to keep going until we defeat him, really. I I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be like a guaranteed defeat every time. I mean, I mean, I obviously it's not, is it? Let's just be frank here. But, you know, we're going to keep going until we defeat him. That's just kind of the point of this whole thing. Uh, right, where did the nurse go? Do we not have a nurse? I don't think we have a nurse, guys. Oh, man, we don't have a freaking nurse. Well, that's just a bunch of poo, isn't it, guys? Ah, oh, poo. Right, okay. 
uh, Auric Tesla. I mean, we could make it. If we had all of the accessories and all of the stuff that we actually need, we could maybe make the Auric Tesla helm, or uh, Auric Tesla armor even. And you guys, again, keep raving on about it. Uh, 400 max life. That's just insanity. Right, do I have a permanent Spelunker effect? No, I don't. Right, I would very much like to have that so I can maybe go looking for life roots. Okay, I think that's going to be our next uh, port of call. We're going to try and get some more life roots. I think there are two more uh, life fruit, major life fruit things we can make so we can bring ourselves up to 1180 health. And then with the help of the other stuff, uh, we should be able to get that even higher to well over 1200 health, which would be pretty crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find myself some more life roots. No idea how many I'm actually going to find, but you know, we're just going to just gotta go hunting, huh? Alrighty guys, so after a quick scurry around the jungle, sadly I've only managed to find 10 life fruits. We require a grand total of 35 of them to make ourselves the last two major life fruit things. And uh, also, the, the sort of one of the other, well let's just have a look, it's a better way of just showing you. So the dragon fruit here, it requires 30 effulgent feathers. So we're going to need to farm out Yaren quite a lot. No, actually no, these come from Bumbleburb, don't they? Yeah, we're going to need a lot of cell fragments, a lot of other stuff in order to make this one. But the uh, the elderberry is the easy one to make with the unholy essence, the illuminate, and of course the Yulia spars. But, you know, sadly, again, we don't really have the, the materials needed. So, yeah. All right, well, at the very least, we're just going to keep giving it a go, really. I mean, that's all we can really do, so... Yeah, let's just let's just get back to it. Let's just get back to doing some fighting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take two. Boom, boom, and boom. Here we go. All right, come on, boys. He's coming way up here. Come on, Exoblade. There we go. This is more like it. Yeah, 3.5 million, 3.4 million. Slowly starting to drain away his health. We are one quarter of the way through the fight. My mech worm seems to be catching up with him real nice. This guy, what is he doing? He's just going, he's just flying perfectly perpendicular to where my exoblade is. Oh, oh Jesus. Holy Lord above. Hello. Hi. How you doing? My name's Python. Can you like leave me alone, please, sir? Okay. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm 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 dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Supreme Calamitous? Hello? Hello? There's nothing I can do, man. <laughs> no, I'm so dead. 800,000 health. What do you guys think? No. I thought I was dead. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I was dead! What? How did we just do that? How did we legit just do that? <gasps> oh my god! How did we actually just do that? I wasn't even paying attention to his health bar. In fact, I think his health bar went away, so I couldn't even see how much health he had left. <laughs> My God. My God. 9,699 throwing damage. I mean, I'm I'm kind of tempted to give it a go against the <laughs> against Supreme Calamitous. Oh, hey, we mustn't forget about these things here. 19 Calamitous Essence. Let's have a look. So these are required to make Shadow Spec. Oh, my God, those are expensive. Jesus Christ. They require three bars of life, three Phantoplasm, three Nightmare Fuel, three Endothermic Energy, one Calamitous Essence, one Dark Sun Fragment, and one Yaren Soul Fragment. I mean, I could actually make some of those. I think. Right? I mean, we'll only know if we have a look, right? So, yeah, we've got Nightmare Fuel, we've got Dark Sun Fragments, we have 14 Yaren Soul Fragments, really. I didn't actually realise we had quite as much as that. That's kind of nice. Oh, uh, we have, like, next to no Phantoplasm, though, which kind of sucks. Uh, endothermic Energy, there's that. Right, what else do we need? So I've got, like, five out of seven of the things. 
Uh, that would be six out of seven. Oh, the bars of life. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. All right, so let's grab out some bars of life. We're going to need to head back to the dungeon. We're going to need to, like, just take down a whole bunch of dudes because that's just what we need to do, quite frankly. Uh, do we... We don't even have the ability to make a Zerg potion because we need some demonic bone ash, which I do believe is gotten from the bone serpents. So I think for now we're just going to have to go ahead and uh, use some ye olde battle potions. I mean, who knows? If I go down to hell, I might be able to defeat some dudes and stuff i have no idea but guys to finish off the episode we will be going ahead and trying to see what we can make with all of the shadow spec bars okay so give me a sec i'll do a little bit of farming and we'll see what we can do all right guys so i've just been on my calamity crimson world i used the battle potion and i spent about 45 or so minutes trying to get myself as much demonic bone ash as i could i got 18 which therefore grants me the ability to make uh, 18 zerg potions which as you can see i have right here so like i say all i need to do is i need to grab myself some phantoplasm from the dungeon and then we can make some beautiful shadow spec bars let's do that Oh, hey there, Poltergast. Nice of you to drop in there, buddy. It's a shame that you're getting absolutely pwned right now. And... Dead. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Whoa, check this out, guys. I don't think I've ever had this banner before. The Bone Lee banner. That's pretty badass, isn't it? I've never seen that before. <laughs> Well, there we go, my friends. Well, even in vanilla Terraria, I still don't have some of the things that exist. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Hey, man, look at this. Our, our platinum supply is really starting to, you know, get back up there, which is really cool. Right, so, hey, there it is, my friends. Shadow Spec Bars Hacker. Oh, whoa. We can make 33 of them? Jesus. All right, so we've got Demon Shade Armor, which requires a lot of stuff oh my god so much stuff okay so earth all right so this is one thing you guys have definitely been raving about we've got animus as well again you guys have been raving about and well aside from that we've got the red sun this weapon is a reference to warframe oh my god <laughs> what <laughs> oh fantastic all right well, guys, we know exactly what we're going to be making in the next episode, don't we? Earth, the Crystal Crusher, Animus, and the Red Sun. Eh? Huh? This sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Drop a like rating, especially for the fact that we have finally taken down Supreme Calamitas. And as a result, look at this. The boss checklist is complete look at it man we have no more bosses to take down ladies and gentlemen we need only farm out to make ourselves into the most op version of ourselves and once that point comes that will be the end of the series and we will move on to another one but for now my friends this this series is about to become my longest ever terraria running series which is quite something so i hope you guys are still enjoying the series i really really am i'm i'm superiorly excited to see what these new weapons do and i'm really really excited to try and get some more epic stuffs the demon shade armor the auric tesla armor that's all on my list of things to do my friends but thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it guys and i'll see you in the next episode